Well, I'm no expert, but it looks to me like our Kyle is going to spice things up. And it doesn't really need that, does it? Because brand new Grain Jill is full of action. Emma. Hi. Going into school? Uh, as opposed to where? I'll walk with you. So, are you going to go to Karen Young's dance club? Are you? Yeah. Then no. Do you want sugar? Please. You're on a box junction. What? You should know this. Right. Miss, I went on a seven-day driving course and passed. Smug knickers. That's it. Give up on me a little bit more, why don't you? You just can't stand not being the one with the knowledge, can you? So, I was thinking... Do you help me set the hall up for the dance lesson after school? Oh, well, I thought it'd be a catch. But it's not really my hours, so... Surely they're flexible. I'll see if I can read them for you. Cheers. Uh, Tanya. <sighs> Listen. We haven't really spoken since, and I just... Oh, is this about the whip round? What? The whip round I'm having to see if I can get you a life. Forget it. Forget it, yeah? I wanted that back for my birthday. Mum said she couldn't afford it. When did you get it? You're wearing makeup. Was it a present from Luke? Does it matter? It depends what you want to return. It's none of your business. Is he loads old than you? Does he have a car? Oh, he's full of it, come on. Well, that'll be him now. Just let it go to voicemail. Oh, tell me about him. Why don't you tell me about your little secret? Uh, I don't have one. Apart from the fact you fancy the pants of that gypsy kid. Uh, Kyle is not a gypsy, he's an Irish traveller and he certainly isn't a kid. Don't go all worthy on me. So, you do then? Uh, I don't. Makeup and I can smell your perfume a mile off. That doesn't mean anything. Fall to pieces when he's in the same class as you. You mention him like 20 times a day. Uh, because it's interesting. He's not like any of the other guys from school. I can talk to him and he actually listens. Does not mean I fancy him. You obsess my like. What's the point? He's hardly ever in. Oh, uh, well, he's in five subjects. See, you're obsessed. What, like you and me? No, I can handle it. You'll just make a fool of yourself. Uh, how can you do that? Because he'll never be interested in someone like you. He's probably got an arranged marriage lined up with someone from his caravan clan. I'm just going to go and listen to that message. Yes! And you got a staff room to go to? Or a broom cupboard? He's welcome to have his breaks here. He gave that right up the day he dropped home. Became Molly Jr. Caretaker. He mops floors. He earns a decent salary. It's a better option than hanging around with losers all day. Oh, and you're stood where exactly? Well, up you get set up. I'm actually quite looking forward to this. You've got to bring Baz. Male interest is like zero. He's well up for it. Really? No. What are you doing? What are you doing jumping out on me? Well, what are you doing on the roof trying to steal the lead? Oh, yeah. Just jip over like that. Get back inside. You want to search my bag first? I was joking. You must find racist jokes funny then. Just don't let me catch you up here again, all right? So make sure you lock the doors properly. You wouldn't want some little kid falling to the death because you overlook your job, would you? You must have a good instructor to pass in the week. Meaning? Women have trouble steering supermarket trolleys. Who in this conversation has the driving licence and who hasn't? Can I have his number then? The instructor? No. Because he's a she. Are you going to give me or not? Not. Because it's at home. Well, here's my number. Give us a call when you've got the details on, yeah? Please? You think I can handle being taught by a woman? And remember, never enter a box junction until your exit's clear. Unless you're turning right. No way! You guys can actually do some work. I'll just put about. Where did it go? Shows how you've done it. I've got to shift all these by dinner. 
And we're behind. We. It's your enterprise scheme. And you're my mate. Yeah, who's doing you a favour? should be grateful. I am. But, but could you just work a bit harder? Who do you think we are? Your staff or something? I wouldn't mind if we were getting paid. I can't afford it. You can afford to pay yourself, though, can't you? Time the school takes 25% and then... Then there's other eggs. I don't get much honest. Rubbish. Listen, mate, you're on 5% or so you're on your own. I can't believe you've even got to think about it. That's how much he values us. Come on, show us that tree. Okay. Okay. Alright, Blake. How's it going with Fat Boy? Looks like he's got a couple of minders. Nah, they are witnesses. What do you want to do? As always, wait till he's alone. Do you think she's special needs that much? Your best goal yet? Oh, I couldn't have scored it without your setup, could I? Nah, you do the same for me. <laughs> We've got to get to the same college. We tell them we come as a package, deal or no deal. <laughs> Let me help you with that. Ta. No worries. You're on the Duncan, aren't you? Yeah. You throw a javelin for the county, don't you? Yeah. Ah. How'd you get into that? Bad temper. I like throwing things, and my mum pushes me into it. <laughs> So uh, when are you next competing? In a couple of weeks, but my physio says I've got to stay off for a bit, you know, while I recover. It's just a strain. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, I broke my ankle years ago. I still flare up, put me out the game for weeks. I nearly didn't make footy camp over the summer. It's a scare. Motorbike accident. Really? My dad's motorbike fell on me in the shed when I was looking for a ball. <sighs> See you later. See you. What about him? Cutting up other girls. Who? I don't know, but she's pretty. So are you. Like her car? Uh, yes, he does. No, not when it's with Donna. It's like, I'm invisible. Look, Baz isn't a player. I should know. He has been out with my sister and my ex-best friend. Exactly. Do we get to the room quickly? No, they dumped him. You've got nothing to worry about. He's coming to the dance class. I still haven't found the right moment to ask him. I, pronoun, think that Anna, third person, is minging. Adjective. Sure. You smell nice. Okay, Kyle, pick a group, please. Yeah? How are you this morning? What you like, Daddy? Had a late night. I didn't have to come in. Oh, I'm sure Miss Basson's just fine with that. She is. Was it Star Wars fair? What? I'm allowed time off for things like that. If I slept in because I went to a fair, I'd get detention. I didn't realise how fit you were last year. <laughs> kiss, kiss. Man, you don't worry, we don't want to play them together. <laughs> they broke my ankle last time. <laughs> oh, you look like a convict. <laughs> Just escape. <laughs> Just a bit. No, I know. I remember last year, man. I still got the scars. <laughs> oh, um, that's mine. Will you come to the dance class with me? <laughs> no. <laughs> How will needs all the support you can get? It's not my thing. You took me dancing over the summer. Uh, clubbing. What's the difference? He doesn't want to go. Who asked you? Uh, we were having a private conversation. <laughs> I downloaded this uh, sports card you respect as far as. Oh, cheers, fella. Got some bar on campus. Oh, yeah. What's <laughs> up with that? So, what's this big thing about the horse fair? Big community thing. You meet your friends and family you haven't seen in ages. There's loads going on. Not like horses. <laughs> Not just horses. 
Buying and selling stuff. Crafts, trading tools. Sounds fascinating. Uh, go on. It's just like a mad festival. There's loads to do and see. Campfires, palm readers. Can you read palms? <laughs> Want to marry your childhood sweetheart from school. Have three kids of him. Don't have a sweetheart. Not in this dump anyway. Exactly. Load of rubbish. As my dad says, if folk are willing to pay, then who are we to disappoint them? <laughs> If you're an Irish traveller, then how come you don't have the accent? Well, I was born here. Got masses of relatives over there. My dad's half English, half Irish. Mum's half English, half Spanish. So, is that why you took Spanish? I just find it easy, because I travel around there for two years. Oh, you must have been to some exotic places. <laughs> yeah. No offence, but if uh, you're able to uh, travel the world free and all, then how come you decided to camp on a waste ground next to a concrete secondary school? It may not be beggars. Sometimes you don't get a choice. Emma, you going to Uh, yeah. See you then. Careful. Made a fool of myself? No. I just don't want to see you get hurt. What? It's obvious. He's sat next to you to be near me. He saw the way he grabbed my hand and he's obviously flirting with me. All this time, me and Tanya have been acting like we hate each other. And we actually do. You're just saying that because you're seeing someone. I'm not. Yeah, right. What's wrong with you? Nothing. It's like you've had a personality bypass and you don't want anything to do with me or Abel anymore. That's not true. Well, when was the last time you hung around with outside school? Because I've had stuff to do, all right? Like what? Look, you're going to say something about Tanya. Go on. Whatever feelings I have for it, it's gone. I've been setting my sights too low. Excuse me. Time to move on. No time like the present. Maybe there is something I need to tell you. Excuse me. I'm just wondering, would you uh, ever give your number to a stranger? No. Thought not. So, I'm Togger. Now you know me, what are the chances? I'm late. You see that? What? I'm in there, that's what. What's wrong with you? Okay, girls, let's make a start. How can I have got this so wrong? There's still time. Yeah, for me to curl up and die. I'm not one single lad. <clears throat> I need like double this to just about break even. What do you think, Karen? Should we make a start? Can we just have five more minutes? Is Baz coming? Hi, Karen. I'm really sorry. I know how much it means to you. It's just my head is absolutely banging out. Really don't feel up to it. It's brilliant. He's a quid to say sorry. If it's okay, I might go and see if I can go grab a game of chess instead. Oh, okay. Why don't I just cancel the dance lesson and we can all go and see if we can grab a game of chess? Since that's what it's really at. Can I ask you something, get a man's point of view, and I want you to be honest, okay? Am I pretty? Uh... Andy! What? It's a simple yes or no answer. Yes. Oh, I thought she was saying no, that. No, you are. Well, am I funny? Well, you're not a natural-born comedian. So I'm too serious, boring? No, you're... No, you're not. You're... You're warm. And thoughtful and... Emma, would, would you, you go... With me? Yes. Kyle. Yes. I mm, I would go out with you if I was Kyle. I'd say yes. Yeah. I'm just way out of his league and he's so cool and oh, that must be nice anyway. Car's caravan bigger than yours, is it? Is that why you've got a cob on? Girl trouble. Yeah. Forget about it. 